Richard Southern joins us to chat about the day's top business stories and big changes continue to play out in the Canadian cell phone market, Richard. Good to see you, Erica. These are changes that just might save some Canadians money. Freedom Mobile today unveiled its first national cell phone plan. This is all because of uh, Rogers' recent acquisition of Shaw. When it bought Shaw, they agreed to sell Freedom Mobile to appease the competition concerns in Ottawa. Videotron, a company out of Quebec, bought Freedom Mobile, and uh, Ottawa stipulated that they must offer plans at least 20% cheaper than the competitors. They've done that. Freedom Mobile today unveiled a plan for 50 bucks per month that includes unlimited calls, unlimited texts, 40 gigabytes of data, and... It's good throughout Canada and the United States, and that's apparently key because telecom analysts say this is the cheapest price they've ever seen for transborder roaming. And they say it shows that maybe some aggressive price competition might finally be coming to the Canadian cell phone market. Not 100% sure it's related, but we did see shares in, in both Rogers and TELUS, Erica, move lower today. Rogers is the parent company of City News. All right, and it seems we're talking nearly every day about artificial intelligence, and at least one company is already cashing in. Oh, Eric, if only you and I could go back in time like 24 hours and buy some stock in NVIDIA, we'd be laughing right now. The graphics chip maker saw its stock surge almost 25% today. The shares were already up more than 100% this year. And yes, it has to do with the fact that NVIDIA is the the leader in chips that that create artificial intelligence and that that work in that realm and of course everyone as you say talking about ai particularly with the advent of chat gpt earlier this year so uh nvidia stock really lifting the s p and the nasdaq today and some of the other uh chip stocks also benefited from that eric all right and finally the clock keeps ticking toward a potentially devastating deadline south of the border yeah, one week today, uh, the U.S. could default on its debt. Basically, the United States has run out of money to pay its bills, and lawmakers in Washington need to agree to uh, raise the debt ceiling, to borrow more money in order to service the debt. If they can't do that, it's a default a week from now. With that possibility in mind, one of the big rating agencies, DBRS, put the U.S.'s AAA credit rating on downgrade notice today. Uh, President Joe Biden in the state sounded uh, cautiously optimistic, saying uh, that he hopes to find a way forward with this. U.S. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he doesn't think the U.S. will default, but if it does, he says, it ain't my fault. So a bit of a stalemate, and uh, the Dow has been down for five straight days amid this worry, Erica.